Uh, thank you, President Rood. 116 years ago, my predecessor as chair of the trustees stood here and accepted the fountain as the gift of the class of 86. I'm honored today to be able to follow in his footsteps. At the original dedication, President S. M. Weary spoke in glowing terms about not just the class gift, but of the spirit that was part of what was then a normal school. His words so poignant then still resonate today, so I want to share some of them. Excuse me. <laughs> Tells you when I graduated. <laughs> Mr. Weary thanked the class members for the gift and noted it's a recognition not only of what has been done by us in the past to make this one of the first training schools in the state, but it's a perpetual testimony to your faith in what we and our successors shall do in the time to come. He also very eloquently spoke about what he expected the class would achieve after the members graduated. His words are somewhat flowery, flowery, but remain applicable to even today's graduates. He said, and this is a difficult read, as the pure and sparkling waters from yon distant mountain rise through and flows over this fountain in a continuous stream to make glad the hearts of those who see its shining sheen, who hear its soothing ripple and drink in its, fresh, its refreshing vapors, so may you, the class of 96, be a channel of clean heart, pure mind, chaste speech, and educated throughout to carry the life-giving waters of truth and science from this great reservoir of learning to cheer and bless the worldwide outside. We stand here today, especially those of us proud to be SHIP alumni, as a living legacy to the class of 86 and to their spirit that epitomizes all the qualities that make our alma mater so extraordinary, so unique, and so special to all of us. My predecessor did in 96, today in the name of and, in beha and on behalf of Shippensburg University's Council of Trustees and the entire Shippensburg family, I accept this <laughs> renovated fountain, Mr. President. It's an obligation that the trustee has to do. Thank you. Our present trustee council soundly appreciates the work of those trustees who came before us, for they gave us the foundation for the ship we inherited. We strive to strengthen the foundation, this foundation given to us in order to pass it on to those who serve after us. Such generational building blocks continue to protect, secure, and grow this university. On behalf of current and previous students, it is a privilege to take part in the ceremony. One of the first sights one notices when visiting Shippensburg University is this fountain. Many are struck by its beauty and even more astounded by its history. This fountain represents the impact that students have had on this university for 116 years since its dedication. Since that time, over 60,000 graduates have contributed to this institution in the areas of leadership, championship, and scholarship. This fountain is a symbol of that legacy. It is, that, it is my hope that every student upon graduation, myself included, will look back on our own contributions with pride. When that day arrives, I hope we will take with us the awe of this fountain, and like those of the class of 1896, leave behind a legacy. Thank you. I am honored to be a part of the rededication taking place today. For well over a century, this fountain has stood as a symbol of knowledge that has flowed throughout our world from this location. Let the water that flows here continue to symbolize the past and the future of Cumberland Valley State Normal School, Shippensburg State Teachers College, Shippensburg State College, and Shippensburg University, and let it stand as a place where students come to equip themselves with the knowledge necessary for a successful life. Thank you. Well, I tell you what, we talked about preparing for the future, and, and that, uh, that, that speech that was given uh, 116 years ago, um, you know, it, it could be just as well today. And the university's always been about preparing young people so that they could have a better and brighter future. You know, but just as important 
And it's just as Krista said, you know, you've got to preserve your past. And just in looking at this beautiful restoration, you know, it will do just that. That Krista and, and young people ahead of her, uh, behind her will see the same thing and remember what was done today and what was done in 1896. And just looking around at this beautiful campus, this is an incredible treasure in Franklin County as well as Cumberland County. Recognizing it's proper Cumberland, like I say, <laughs> we'll take the credit to at least a little bit. Anyway, uh, again, uh, my congratulations to all involved in this project and helping to preserve uh, some of the tradition and uh, that, that's very, very evident and very real here at Shippensburg University. Thank you very much. I'm not sure it would be a rededication if we didn't throw someone in the fountain. I've heard many stories over my engagement with Shippensburg University of individuals who have such traditions of being tossed in or stepping in. So I thought about kicking my shoes off and just jumping in and reading, not singing, my part from in the fountain. But I thought as I end my board term, it wouldn't be good to get kicked off campus. So I think I'll stick to the script. Class day exercises were held on June 30th, 1896 at 2 p.m. Speeches were given, poems were read, and class songs were sung. The class of 1896 donated the Old Main Fountain as their class gift. You'll find the class poem at 1896 on the back of your program. And this afternoon, I will read for you several of the verses. We seniors of this normal school will long revere this meeting. We've gathered by this fountain fair, accept our gift and greeting. This fountain we have watched with pride, each portion of its building. We love to watch its flashing sprays, to note its form and gilding. We wish to give this tribute fair in this our hour of parting, we know that you will guide it well with near a thought of marring. We give the fountain to you today.